Bill was a member of three championship teams. Uh, the first three, the, the infamous three, Pete, 91, 92, and 93. So welcome. Welcome, Bill. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to be here in this current climate. Wow, absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna give people a little bit of background on us. So Bill was a rookie in 1979, drafting the 79 draft, number three in that draft behind Magic Johnson and David Greenwood of UCLA. My first story was actually on Bill, uh, his rookie, at the end of his rookie season when uh, led the rookies in scoring and in minutes and a field goal percentage and yet finished third because that year he had Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. So let's talk about those first years with the Knicks. You played with the Knicks for eight seasons. Uh, you played with them under Hubie Brown. You played with them with uh, Patrick Ewing and set up the stage for you to be traded to the Bulls. Tell me a little bit about what is your recollection of those years with the Knicks? Well, uh, that's not a short story. So <laughs> it's, it's funny because people uh, in Chicago, they think that I spent most of my time in, uh, in Chicago, but really, uh, I spent nine years in New York, and my first coach was, was Red Holzman. So, I mean, and, and at that time, you know, it was, it was great. It was exciting. You know, I had a great coach, legendary coach. Teammate was Earl Monroe. Uh, played with Marvin Webster, guys like Josie Mer Merriweather, crazy guys like uh, Ray Williams, uh, Michael Ray Richardson. Toby Knight, Clint Gondazak. Uh, it was it was a pretty interesting crew of guys. It was it was talented, um, and unfortunately, unfortunately enough, Marvin that year, if you remember, he I got sick, and I, I got to play a lot of minutes. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of experiences. Um, uh, I got killed a lot, but I learned a lot. I got to play a lot. I think I was second in the league in minutes that year. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was uh, it was it was good and bad. So let's set the stage for the trade. There are very few trades that generally work for both teams. Uh, in the summer of 1988, the Knicks traded you to the Bulls for Charles Oakley, who was their power forward. They had drafted Horace Grant the year before and had clearly thought that they needed a bigger low post presence and thought that Oakley was uh, perhaps expendable because of the development of Horace Grant. What was your perception of the Bulls? You, you, you clearly played against them. You played against Jordan. What was your perception of them before the trade? And what was your reaction to the trade? Well, I had no reaction to the trade. You know, I was uh, I was in Hawaii when I got traded. I just landed. Got to the hotel. Got a phone call from Jerry Krause. He said, hey, you're traded. Chicago, get back on the plane. I'm like, I just got here. Yeah. <laughs> From Hawaii to Chicago. And uh, at that point in time, I was just ready for a new challenge. I mean, I was playing really uh, for the first time in my career, no minutes in Chicago. I got lucky during the playoffs uh, where they found out they need us to win a game or two. Uh, they, uh, I got a chance to play. But until then, uh, it had really been kind of a year off. So any change was really welcome. And I was, it didn't matter to me what the challenge was. Mm -hmm. And as I got to Chicago, um, you know, I remember that was a young team. That was a young horse, Grant, Scotty Pippen. It was their second year. Mm -hmm. Michael was still relatively young and, and mm -hmm. really, really thirsty to score. Uh, so we were a team that was we were they were good, uh, but but they were young. So uh, I was just really ready to take on that challenge. Hello, everyone. I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos. So please subscribe to this page and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.